his actions in Midgard, Atreus does still care for you. I know. I raised a son, too. It may be hard to believe, but he was quite similar to Atreus at this age. He adored his father, always wanted to do right by him, and was constantly frustrated that no matter what he did, he never could seem to get his approval. He confided in me a lot, sought the comfort his father withheld. I wonder if your son could benefit from that too. He has befriended the other dwarf, the Blue One's brother. Oh, well, if Sindri has that covered, I suppose there's no need for me in his life anymore, is there? That is not what I meant. That was sarcasm. Do we have to be here? Creeping me out, all these poor bastards with their souls cut up. What is this? Ravens, the ones we've been destroying. Odin's little spies. Free are we, free of the Father. Our half-lives now belong to no other. The father. Odin, I presume? I don't know. But there's definitely something more going on here. must have created these creatures. But how? I haven't the foggiest. They came after my time with him. But perhaps we should continue to destroy any of Odin's ravens we find. In life we hanged, in death we kneeled, until you freed us with your steel. So destroying the ravens free their spirits somehow. Good to know. Free? Well, free of Odin's control anyway. We told what we saw, empowered his lies. Good little ravens, good little spies. 